Capa took all the same risks as the soldiers he photographed from the beaches of Normandy to the Battle of the Bulge. In northern France, he prepared for his most harrowing experience of the war. That uh, picture was taken when I was 19 years old. I all heard this voice saying, uh, Soldier, would you mind standing up? I'd like to take your picture. I think the reason he wanted to take my picture was the fact that I had the Cheyenne Warlock. I mean, we had a Cheyenne Indian in my demolition section. And uh, as a result, we used to go into combat with a Cheyenne Warlock. You have something, you know, hey, we're different, we're rough, we're tough, we're better. Kappa had volunteered to parachute into Germany with the 17th Airborne Division. They would be jumping directly into enemy fire. It was uh, very uh, fearless in a sense, almost reckless. The idea was to get the photograph, and uh, he would go to almost any lengths to get close action, good photographs. Part of you isn't thinking or feeling, and part of you is. You know you're going. Hell, you're, the plane's in the air. You know you're going. And you're not exactly sure what's going to be there when you get there. You know what is supposed to be there. I started to think over my whole life. It was like a movie where the projection machine has gone crazy. I saw everything I ever ate, ever did, and I got to the end in 12 minutes flat. 600 feet below us was the Rhine. The green light flashed, and the boys yelled, Umbriago! Seventeen thousand men parachuted into the Rhine Valley that day. More than a third of them died there. The most amazing thing I ever saw is the way everybody just lies on the ground when they get down. It seemed like two minutes and everybody was just lying there. They were shooting at you as you were coming down. So sometimes uh, some of the troops didn't quite make it to the ground alive. Ten yards away were tall trees. Some of the men who had jumped after me had landed in them, and now they were hanging helplessly. That's the last, last good photograph of my right foot, because uh, I left my right foot in Europe. War is gruesome, and somebody has to show it. I, I often wonder if I could have done it, to be perfectly honest with you. It was one thing to be going someplace where they're throwing things at you when you can shoot back. If you don't have anything but a camera, you don't stop bullets with cameras. <laughs>